Congratulations on the World Cup. 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 Congrat Again, a hard game, but we, you know, coming out of the Euros, not having that much rest. Some of the players played Champions League, other players didn't play that many minutes. I think Austria had that same problem a little bit. Uh, but I think, after all that, I'm very proud of the team that we came out like this and we just, you know, we just won the game. It looks so easy, but I think it was pretty hard. Yeah, um, it is absolutely a relief, and you know, we, you also know that if it w if it would not be successful today, that we would qualify, possibly we qualify Tuesday. But you don't want that. You want to win every game. You want to play well every game. You want to show uh, how good you can play. And I think l lots of parts in the game we did that today, and we had some parts that we weren't tight enough, and we made some mistakes where they they created some chances. Uh, but still, two nils, two nil. We qualified, and we had a great qualification uh, series. I know you don't like talking about individual players. Oh, too much. I know you don't like talking about individual players, but um, you could see the delight in the team when Nikita Paris scored. Does that mean, what, what, why was there so much celebration around that? Yeah, well, um, I, yeah, well, we, for obvious, we're really happy for her that she scores the goal, but also we wanted more depth, and uh, she, that's one of the strengths of her game. She had the runs behind, and that's what she did really well, and her finish was great. So that was very successful, and we actually celebrated that together. And a debut for, for Lauren James. Has she been impressing you this week? Right? Yeah, she did. Um, well, we know, you know, she can mention I went to Chelsea. She didn't play very many, many minutes last year. She was just um, trying to get back all the time. Uh, in this preparation with the club, she played more minutes um, than she did last year, and, um, and she did really well. So then she came in our camp. She did well, too. And so we thought, bring her in. Thanks, Anton. Good for her. We'll open it up to questions from the floor. Who would like to ask a question? Yeah, Tom. Sorry. Thanks, Katrina. Congratulations. Could I ask a bit more about, about Nikita Paris? How pleased are you that she took her chance coming off the bench tonight? Yeah, I think, again, the team showed that um, when players come in, they can make a difference and they can bring what we, what we, we hope they, they do. So that was really nice. And... Um, yeah, I think then again she impacted the game because actually when you we scored the two nil, uh, that makes it a little bit easier. And what sort of things did you observe from Alessia Russo's performance? She was obviously the sub in the Euros. Now coming in to start her goal, she was involved in the build-up as well as the finish. Kind of what did you make of her performance? I always make something of a team performance, <laughs> and everyone has a task and everyone brings different things. Uh, but I think she did well. Now it's different. Um, you know, when you start, it's different than you come in. Um, but um, you know, as, we, as we all see that she's such a talented, uh, high potential player, as we have many of them in our squad. And it's really nice that she scored the goal so quick. It was a pretty good goal, the first one. The second one too, but the, pretty, the first one too. And just one more if that's okay. I know when you were celebrating in, in Trafalgar Square, Lu Lucy Bronze mentioned about, you know, we need another medal round on it. There's one more to go for. I mean, how... <laughs> How conscious are you of the fact that now everyone will talk about England as a, as a, as a favourite, one, one of the favourites for the World Cup because of the fact you've won the Euros? Yeah, yeah, we knew that was going to happen. I think everyone was already talking also that we were the favourite of the Euros. Um, so trying, actually, I think England has always been seen as one of the best countries um, worldwide, uh, top level. Um, and that, yes, of course, we, we know that's, um, that's the case. But we're just trying to do the things that we have to do and play football and trying to become better every day and stay connected as a team. Thank you. Safe journey back. Thanks, Tom. We'll go to Susie, please. Cheers. Congrats, Serena. Um, 21, goal, uh, 21 games, no defeat, 70 goals in qualifying, none conceded. Can you, can you remember what it's like to lose? <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, of, yes, I can. Yeah, of course you remember uh, the lose, but uh, winning never. Um, how do you say that? Uh, you never get uh, bored with winning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, obviously Luxembourg on Tuesday. W w now you've got qualifying out of the way. Will we see a lot more of the squad? And you know, will you experiment a little bit with the with the personnel? Yeah, we will. 
you know, what we do now, some of the, some of the players are training now. Uh, then tomorrow we'll see how everyone comes out of the game. And then we'll figure out who's going to play Tuesday. But some, some players might need some extra rest because they came in already with a lot, l- less uh, playing minutes, with less training sessions, still not totally recovered from the Euros. But we'll, f- yeah, we'll think about that. Uh, and yes, at the other hand, then it also gives an opportunity to other players. But what it looks like, we haven't finalized it yet. We have two more days. And now you've got qualification out of the way. Time to get excited about the US friendly? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Susie. We'll go to Natalie at the front. Thank you. I was just going to ask about that game. Um, has, that, has this result and the fact that you've qualified now made that USA game a little bit more spicy? Um, I think the game was already very spicy. If I totally understand the spicy, I collect that with food. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I think I understand what you mean. No, I think I was really, really excited about this game already. But you know, you have to put it to bed until you get qualified. You never know what happens. And of course, with our standards, we should beat Luxembourg. But that's not the way you want to think. You want to approach the first game, and that was Austria. And you want to win that game and play well and show who you are. Um, but now that's done. Of course, we're going to play Tuesday. We want to play, you know, enjoy the game again. They're going to be. 30,000 fans in the stadium. People will watch the game on TV too. So, so we want to want to play a good game. Uh, but that we're excited about the America game. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. Um, we approached a few England fans outside because obviously there weren't many of them, and turned out that a lot of them couldn't speak English. They were they were Austrians. Yeah. Um, for people in Europe to be wearing England shirts when they're not from England, have you made England cool again with what you've done this summer? <laughs> no, I think we made England cool. But England has been cool before. So I think a long time, not for okay. people wearing shirts. Oh, is that shirt. true? Well, I think they just like the shirts. They wear the pretty shirts. But um, no, I do think they... I think um, the way we played... The way the tournament was, and it's not just England. I think there were so many very good games uh, that uh, we wanted to inspire the nation. But I think this tournament inspired Europe, and I think beyond Europe, and that's what it shows. And actually, that's pretty exciting too. So yes, people come up to us and they want signatures, and they're Austrian people. And the, so yeah, we made a difference, and we inspired also the Austrian people. And that's really nice that that comes with the job too. Thanks, Natalie. We'll go to girls on the ball. Hi, Serena. Congratulations. Um, I was just going to ask, after you sco- scored quite early today, and then it got a bit tricky in that first half. What did you say to them at half-time? Because I thought the second half was improved. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, the, we started indeed really well. That's what we said. We scored a good goal, and then we had to be a little more tight on the ball, uh, making the right choices, but also in shape. We needed to be a little aware what Austria wanted to do and trying to get out of that and it had to do with switching play and going to the other side. And I think the team did really well. And I think when we started the first half, when we kept the ball moving and switching play all the time, that they can't keep up with that because it costs so much energy for them. I think we did that a little better second half and then they got a little tired too. And then just a question on Mary Earps. I mean, she didn't have much saves, many saves to make, but she made that huge one at, in the second half. Yeah. How important was that? Yeah, she always has one... You know in a game, especially because an uh, opponent like Austria, there will always come one chance that, uh, and then you hope your goalkeeper's alert. She's shown that all the time, from September until now, when, it's, when one or two saves needs to be made, she's there. Thank you. Thanks so much. Time for a final question. If not, we'll call it a day. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks ever so much. Thank you.